Welcome to this V2A Real-Time Vintage Village User Guide. Once you see an aerial overview of the site, you can start interacting. Click and hold the left mouse button and drag the mouse across the screen to adjust the view angle. Place your mouse anywhere in the scene and right-click once to pan around the site. You can click the Return to Site button at the bottom of the screen to return over Vintage. To zoom in or out of the site, you can either use the mouse wheel or alternatively the slider on the left side of the screen. Select regional tags in the left menu panel to display a number of points of interest around the site. You can click on any of these to fly over on the Google map to view the area in more detail. Under the overlays tab, you will find a variety of planning overlays that you can use in conjunction with the overlay opacity slider at the bottom of the screen to reveal what lies underneath. Existing vegetation will bring up a 3D representation of existing foliage and the proposed site button will turn on the earthworks of the proposed site, the vintage village and reveal a number of additional options to display building F, apartments, houses, new vegetation across the site and activation being people and cars throughout the scene. You can explore the site in more detail by double clicking where you would like to go to the ground and then click and hold the left mouse button and use the WASD keys on your keyboard to walk around. You can launch a virtual drone by clicking the drone button in the top left corner of the screen and then use the space bar and control key to adjust your altitude and otherwise move across the scene like you would in walk mode. Press and hold shift to accelerate. To return to aerial view, click on the icon in the top left corner of the screen. You can use the snapshot tool to take a perspective of any angle. Click on the snapshot button and then you can also use the markup tools at the bottom of the screen to add annotations to the scene. This can be exported as a PDF or emailed out directly. You can also record a video by clicking on the video camera icon, selecting whether you would like the menu and the left to be displayed, and then any interaction thereafter will be recorded until you click on the recording icon once again. You can see a preview of the video and then save it or discard it as required. A number of measurement tools can be used to measure the site. For example, the point-to-point -point distance, height of objects, area contained within any shape, and the radius around the center point. The time of day slider can be used to simulate basic shadowing over the site. To exit the application, click on the button in the bottom left corner of the screen. 